name is Max. My world is fire and blood. It would be if Mad Max Fury Road won the Best Picture Oscar. The fact that it's even nominated for the big prize at all is a huge coup for movie lovers. Fury Road is an action movie through and through, two hours of pulsating, revved up desert insanity. It's full of long, uninterrupted car chases and a flame-throwing heavy metal warrior. It also came out in the summer, long before the Oscar season began, and is a reboot of an 80s cult franchise. In other words, the Academy, old and stodgy as it is, never should have gone for it. Except the Academy did go for it, nominating Mad Max for 10 Oscars. And that's why a win for Fury Road would be so great. Finally, the Academy's dumb, unwritten rule that summer action blockbusters need not apply would be wiped away forever. Just because a movie is explosive, exciting, and appeals to a wide audience, doesn't mean it can't also be beautifully made. The grandeur of the desert shots rivaled that of Lawrence of Arabia, and its editing sets a new standard for making action exciting, surprising, and perfectly clear. But Aisha, it's a dumb action movie. Doesn't Best Picture have to have something to say about the world? Excellent question, Dan. In fact, Fury Road has plenty to say about women having the power to control their own bodies and the dangers of hero worship. Considering the current state of American politics, this dumb action movie couldn't be more relevant. Hey, what's your name? What do I call you? Does it matter? Can Mad Max take it all the way to the green place? Hey, if the Academy gets confused about which important societal issue to address and is unwilling to give Inuritu his second Oscar in a row, then I think Fury Road rides eternal, shiny, and crow. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!